So hi there, it's Phil and Kristen. We are in our first full day in India. Yep, November 26th, 2022. Yes, and it, it, we're in Agra, just outside the Taj Mahal, which is our um, stop tomorrow. We're going to the Red Fort um, this afternoon yet. And behind us, we have a wedding that's going on. I don't know if you can hear it, lots of drums. It's it was very festive. The first few minutes are really charming, and then yeah. after it, it starts to sound a lot like drums over and over and over again. So we'll get a closer shot downstairs too. Yeah. So. And hi, I'm at our hotel in Agra, India, and just had to share a fun scene because there is a full-on wedding going on, lots of festive people all dressed in gold, and there are some drums going on earlier, but they've since concluded, I think, because it's uh, meal time and so forth. But fun. Right, we just finished touring the um, Pink Fort in Agra, Seven India. Seven Mughal emperors built this and resided in it over a period of uh, a couple hundred years in the 15th, 16th, and early 1700s. And we learned a lot of history, and uh, it's pretty phenomenal that this is still around, so good time. Very nice. Now I request to both of you because you are my guest. I'm not supposed to say this word to you, sir. But I just want to show the quality of my carpet. So okay. it's a humble request to both of you. Okay. Please remove your shoes. Okay. Give okay. up your socks. And the deep drop on the carpet. Okay. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. Um, as we're standing in the queue outside of the Taj Mahal. We're here to, to see the to the sunrise, so that should be a pretty cool experience. Good morning. But there's already a healthy line. Good morning.
And now we're at the Taj Mahal. We've just gone through it with our lovely little shoe covers in order because everything's marble. So they want to protect it. What was the highlight for you? I think seeing it from the outside, with the sun coming up on it and, uh, and how people take lots of photos of this. It seems to be more about the photo in front of the Taj Mahal these days <laughs> than the Taj Mahal itself. Yeah, it was quite a bit of mosh pit, especially for the female side of things, getting in here. Yeah. Wow. Um, it was it was uh, pretty insane, but thankfully it opens up once, once you get out. It was sort of like mixing a, three hours into a frat party and the TSA. <laughs> You had an x-ray machine and then a lot of people hitting each other to get their own things back. All right, so we're going to keep wandering around. It is the next day and we are currently leaving Agra on our way to Jaipur and we'll be stopping at the site of Fatapur Sikri, which is the capital of the Mughal Empire from the 1500s and just dealing with some local India traffic. We're in Fatapur Sikri outside of Agra. <laughs> on our way to Jai. <laughs> and then about 24 butts rubbed into my shoulder on a very narrow bus. Oh gosh. So we're, we're on a bus to go to... Fatih for Sikri. Yes. And it's an experience so far. <laughs> Not for everybody, we decided. <laughs> Nobody's on top of us. Oh gosh. We're not, we're not, we're not sure what's so funny. Is it in the door? Are you going to have a while? Oh gosh. And we're off. With a very cool bus. <laughs> Again, we are somewhere between Agra and Jaipur, and our driver said that there is a secret monument that you must see. So we were a captive audience and we agreed. And here we are at this secret monument that had an animal sitting across the way that I've never seen before, and more stairs than I have ever seen in my life. So this is what 300 rupees gets you. And it's surprising. 
supposed to be ancient and very, very deep and pretty amazing for a totally unexpected stop on a five hour drive.